planted day number three. Kind of burner day. Christine had to find herself a chiropractor. So I'm going to hit up the local trails here at Little Beaver Campground. West Virginia. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, we, we, we ride in Pisgah all the time at DuPont State Forest and places like that, but this is just so different from what we're used to. Rhododendron. I believe it's probably a hiking trail. But on the sign it didn't say anything about no bikes. So I figured to be Good place to warm up. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a root garden right there. shows up on the trail. It is literally everywhere on these trails. He's been too long. All of a sudden, front garden. It is so different from what I'm used to riding. And so, here we go. Oh, technical, fruity, rocky climb. Whew. Oh, my goodness. I guess this is the holy cow. What in the world? Whoa. All right, we're going to take some analysis. Figure this.
wasn't the prettiest. But I didn't go over the bars. Alright, so I got stuck coming around that corner, so I backed it up because right through here I should be able to roll through this way on the left side of that rock and the right side of that tree down in the big rock slab and then hang a left. So that looks like it is the line. Oh, yeah. Easy breezy. Where'd the trail go? Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, these trails are a trip. Richard, if you're watching this, you need to come to Little Beaver Campground. You would be in heaven. This is Tech Central. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, got hung up on a root. Dang, couldn't believe I made it through all that. <laughs> I ran into a local, one of the many rock gardens. So this is still Runner Didrum Trail, but the locals call it Cemetery Trail because there's a cemetery out there somewhere and there's deer like everywhere. It's crazy. So, and I'm also to my right is Guess the original campground? Because you can see all the old water spigots sticking up out of the ground. <laughs> Need rock gardens show up out of absolutely nowhere. These trails are crazy. So here's the trail I was looking for, Nature's Ridge Trail. Trails are ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Now it's off to you West Virginia people. You can ride this stuff clean. As I am. Getting my butt kicked. All the trails here at Little Beaver State Park are very well marked. All the trees, all the trees have like a either green, yellow, white, or red blaze on them. Uh, 
So it's it's actually pretty easy, even for a blind man like me. I'm able to navigate out here pretty well. I have changed my glasses probably six times today because the sunlight's, I don't know, I'm trying to find a happy medium between dark enough to where I can see, but light enough when I get into the rhododendrons where I can actually see. So it's, it's, it's a battle finding the right lens to, um, to help me out, but I haven't found that magic bullet yet. What I need is someone out there to invent a pair of transition glasses that go super dark to like medium dark, not light, because light's no good for me. So I need medium dark to super dark, that'd be perfect. So if anybody out there who's like super smart, they could do that, I will be your guinea pig. I'll gladly test them out. Oh, so close. Let me try that again. Like a never ending rock garden. Holy cow. Alright, attempt number two. Stay left and take it right at the tree. three quarters of it now I'll come back again later Those trails or something else. That was intense. Super fun. Hopefully Christine found a chiropractor. Was able to get adjusted so she can be a bit more comfortable to ride tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe. If you'd like watching an old blind man ride bikes. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow.